When there is visible blood in the stool, it is referred to as either melina or hematochesia. Hematochesia occurs when the stool is a fresh, bright red color, indicating that the blood is likely from the lower part of the intestines, such as the rectum or colon. On the other hand, melina is characterized by very dark, tar-like black stool, suggesting that the blood is from the upper gastrointestinal tract, including the stomach and small intestines. Let's now discuss the most common causes of bright red blood in the stool. The most common cause, accounting for 40% of cases, is hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are swollen veins in the lower part of the rectum or anus that bleed during bowel movements. People may also notice swelling or a lump near the anus. Hemorrhoids are an extremely common condition, affecting almost half of the population over the age of 50. They are usually caused by chronic constipation and straining. A high-fiber diet, including fruits and vegetables, along with proper hydration, are the best methods of prevention. The second most common cause, accounting for 20% of cases, is anal fissures. These are tears in the lining of the anus, often caused by straining or constipation. Anal fissures affect around 10% of the general population at some point in their life. The most noticeable symptoms are painful and bloody bowel movements, sometimes with a visibly torn anal opening. Anal fissures are more common among young people, particularly women and children. Treatment with nitroglycerine ointment can improve the condition and aid in healing. The third most common cause is diverticular disease, which involves small pouches developing in the lining of the colon. These pouches can bleed, often resulting in maroon-colored stool. The risk of developing diverticular disease, including diverticulitis, increases with age. It is particularly common among people who consume a low-fiber diet with insufficient fruits and vegetables. Diverticulosis often remains asymptomatic whereas diverticulitis can cause symptoms such as lower left abdominal pain, fever, and nausea. Let's consider the situation where the blood in the stool is dark. The most common cause of this is peptic ulcer disease, which involves ulcers in the stomach and duodenum. This condition is quite prevalent, affecting around 10% of the world's population at some point in their lives. Helicobacter pylori infection is the leading cause of stomach bleeding. Additionally, the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, increases the risk of bleeding. The most common symptom of a peptic ulcer is a burning or gnawing pain in the stomach area, often accompanied by bloating, nausea, or vomiting. Treatment for peptic ulcer disease typically includes antibiotics and proton pump inhibitors, such as omprazole and lansoprazole. Preventive measures involve avoiding NSAIDs, reducing the intake of spicy foods, and quitting smoking. The second most common cause of melina is gastritis, which shares many risk factors with ulcers, such as helicobacter pylori infection and chronic NSAID use. Chronic alcohol consumption is also a known cause of gastritis. The third most common cause of melina is esophageal varices. These are dilated veins in the lower part of the esophagus, usually occurring in liver diseases like cirrhosis. These veins can rupture and bleed, leading to melina. When discussing the most dangerous and serious cause of bleeding, colorectal cancer is a primary concern, often presenting as hematochesia. If blood is present in the stool but is not visible to the naked eye and medical tests are required to detect it, this is referred to as occult blood.